hello 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 my love bugs once again it's your girl let me love here with another message from the divine as i always say today if you're hearing my voice i ask that you harden out your heart for i am just a messenger and we are all here to witness and learn thank you guys for your likes subscribe shares views and memberships everything is greatly appreciated um so i was taking up my coins from the last reading and some coins fell out and it's it said family feud there's a family feud there oh shit it's ancestors bro you probably got some ancestors that's getting it oh whoa you probably it's a family feud yo something about your ancestors kicking somebody else's ancestors ass like they family i'm hearing dishonor on your entire family like somebody's family has been dishonored because of them constantly trying to attack you this could have been in another side of your family a paternal or a maternal side of your family that turned their back on you tried to keep you in poverty and they wanted to them doing so put their money in the balance or made them financially juggle so now they don't got no money because they kept trying to make your life difficult kept trying to attack you and none of that shit worked damn and they back in the same position they were in in the oh no they back in the same position that they wanted for you let's see family feud what's going on who family is this feud who ancestors is whooping on who holy spirit let me get a good shuffle. Man, what? Your ancestors is beating shit out of some people who... Some envy that you have. Okay, out of people who envy you. Envied your money. Envied, envied your purpose. Envied your fertility. They're upset. I'm really hearing that this could possibly be your family upset with another family member. Like, your ancestors upset with another family member. Maybe how they was treating you. Or how they took some money from you. Shit. they took some money from you they are very materialistic they wanted you unhappy they wanted you spiritually uh promiscuous they wanted you giving your cootie mama out to everybody and they received money off maybe calling you a hoe <gasps> they received they paid somebody to make you out to be a hoe they paid somebody to come towards you give you an offer and try to pay you to be a hoe and then try to give you a sickness so that they can prove that you're a whore why was it so important to prove this person was a whore because they didn't want you to be able to move off the calmer waters without them. They wanted to control you, but how are they controlled? They wanted to control your wealth and your health, your enjoyment in life. They wanted you mentally trapped and in prison. And it's kind of like this person who worked against you tried to use your own ancestors against you. And now they ask if their life is hanging in the balance because of something that some sacrifice they tried to do to you in the past. Maybe the sacrifice a prophecy of yours. For you being very strong, wheeled down to earth, a clear thinker. They had to muck up the place is what I'm hearing. They had to make the waters mucky. So these people wanted you to be a hoe and they paid somebody to come in and distract you. Or maybe, oh my gosh, capture you. They wanted to pay to somebody to come towards you and capture you because they were heartbroken or they will be heartbroken at some sort of loss and in the sorrow if you don't accept their apology before you leave or before you get into another uh, romantic relationship. This person feels like they kept their love away from you and now... Uh, okay, boom. So this could have been a person that was supposed to show you some love, whether it's in a relationship or a family or whatever. They're supposed to show you some love. They ain't show you none. They treated you like shit. They only wanted people to treat you like shit. And now that you're going to have someone who naturally cares for you, okay, a relationship or a partnership or moving to a new place where you connect with people honestly and like, you know, like truly and nobody's being fake with you or whatever. Like these people are heartbroken by that because they won't be able to siphon off your energy anymore. They were told to stop doing this. That's why they're spiritually hanging in the balance. This person is in fucking purgatory. That's why it's all this mental energy being trapped in their mind, trying to make you sick, all right, trying to do weird shit. This person neglected the fact that they were insecure, and that's what they needed maybe to spiritually upgrade in life. Maybe that's what held them back and tried to make them hold you back because they feel like they missed maybe the best time of their life. But this person's so fucking selfish, the best time of their life. What was the best time of their life? The best time of their life is when they were taking other people's money, when they were controlling some masculine, okay? They were controlling the masculine and his money, or they were controlling you and your money. They were happy when they would be, be able to do that. When you were upset about certain things, but there's a king of wands that's going to bring you some good news that's going to help you uh, manifest what it is that you want in your life. And this person wanted to do some sort of, you know, cause some sort of setback so you guys don't have this security, and y'all don't work together. 
and y'all ain't out here getting that money because this person feel like they invested in a lot and trying to get the police to come pick you up this person wanted to betray you in order to get some money from you this person could have possibly tried to sue you get the fuck out this person maybe wanted you to beat them up this person maybe wanted you to get out of line with them so that they can say you're very hostile they can sue you uh maybe they wanted to push you to your limits so that you would be like on a short fuse and then snap and then probably beat their ass or do something to them um and then they will get the police to come pick you up because this person has been going and telling people that you abuse them you're mean to them you're this you're that you're only around them for money this could be an older feminine that you possibly could have stayed with this could be um Fuck it. This could be an older woman. Yeah, man. This is the older woman that you possibly used to stay with. This woman used to lie on you. She used to tell everybody that you were, you know, she took care of you financially and you were just rude, disrespectful. You made her cry. You cussed her out. You had her feeling like she was out of place. You just mentally and physically, like this could be an elderly person that's trying to put you in jail for elderly abuse and then sue you for pain and suffering. Get the fuck out. This is somebody who's literally supposed to be related to you. This could be like a grandma or an old ass aunt or some weird ass shit, bro no cap and your ancestors is like okay this shit got to stop because at this point you have literally lost your mind so now we finna drag your ass i think maybe they were the ones this is who she didn't follow wise advice she was supposed to listen to her ancestors that were telling her this is a part of your family calm the fuck down you don't need to act this way you guys can celebrate together you just need to get your life together and this person decided to ignore the fact that they needed some interpersonal work done they needed to heal some stuff inside of them and they said fuck that this is an innocent energy this is a child and i'm gonna make this child feel how the fuck i feel shadow side i'm gonna keep this child on the shadow side fuck her i'm jealous of her i don't like her i don't want nobody working with her i don't want nobody seeing for her who she is i don't want her in no happy relationship i don't want her to have shit i want to have it all i deserve to have it all i put up with all the bullshit fuck this little girl i'm telling you exactly what this woman said y'all again this is a grandma or auntie or whatever this is an old bitch who don't who don't who don't like you sheesh now she's upset that you're approaching your goals. You don't need nothing from her. So in secret, she's trying to conjure up some sort of love spells, maybe some sort of bullshit, maybe now um, to, 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 to hide the fact that she's humiliated, that, you, you know, other, they be, that you're being recognized and you're going to receive monetary rewards and people want to collaborate with you and you done blocked her ass off. Again, people can now see that you're innocent. This person could have also been upset that you had some sort of psychic power, some sort of intu intu intuitive you had some sort of you could tell what the, this woman either got a prophecy of you when you were a child that you were going to be spiritually connected psychic and the dirt and stuff that she did that made her miss her happiness you could figure it out she didn't like that she wanted her secrets to go with her to the grave about different things she did in the background celebrating could be magic betraying people uh sleeping with other people outside of her relationship or whatever like this woman was wild and so it's like everything she said about her is i mean everything she said about you is the shit that she do but this woman thought she was going to be smarter than you by maybe paying someone else to come in and try to work against you back to giving this person this money to get you pregnant and uh, have you out here begging maybe okay boom she paid somebody to come in get you pregnant leave you out in the cold and then that way you would have no choice but to come back to her and let her run your life and tell you how you shouldn't be out here selling pussy and how you got kids and the daddies don't love you and don't like you and they don't love and like the children and she got to do everything for you while telling your children i'm like your second mama i'm this i'm that all to control everybody this motherfucker wanted to force y'all into making her a matriarch of the family when she ain't worth a damn mm -hmm. trying to control you and get the victory or controlling you when you were an adolescent when you were innocent okay trying to take your energy and instill some sort of bullshit in you at that point to let her keep controlling you she was getting a victory at that and now that is why she's suffering um for this treachery she possibly paid whoever this was to come back around this time and assault you she probably paid people to come in her she probably paid people to try to come to your home and assault you this was seen something that she did very impulsively and that's what put all her and all your ancestors on her ass she was upset that you're getting success from this new gift that you have for spirituality tapping into what it was she tried to block if she took away your inner child she took away your creativity your imagination she took away your connection to the holy spirits you healed that you tapped in and picked up a new gift and she pissy because now you're going to get the success that you were always destined for and she got to go to hell she got to go to hell in jail. I'm going to just say what I'm going to say because the stuff that this woman was doing, this woman literally tried to get someone to break into your home and assault you and your child if you have one. You and your child if you have one. 
I'm hearing wolf in sheep's clothing. She wanted this person who possibly already had a child with you. I'm telling you, this could be a baby daddy situation. If you didn't know that this older woman that you, grandma, auntie, or whatever, she paid this person to come in towards you. Or other members of your family could have been working with her that paid this person to come in so that they can stop you or stop, yeah, stop you from having your gift. She knows that this masculine is a pedophile. And she wanted this masculine to come in and assault you and assault your child. She would have felt victorious that way. What you hear from this lady and her bullshit, you headed towards success. All your wishes are going to come true. Um, and your mental health is on point. This is what maybe this person was trying to affect as well is your mental health. Because in some sort of way, she was going to get this masculine to come in um, and take this child through the court system after she got rid of you. So if you didn't go to the crazy house, this woman probably wanted you to go to the crazy house and get Baker acted. Y'all hear that bass? Just ignore it, love. This lady wanted you to uh, go get Baker acted. So let's get back to the reading. Okay, so this person found fulfillment in embarrassing you and they were going to try to uh, sell your child to whoever this masculine is, this father or whatever. Um, they had a whole plan to sabotage you. They've always been trying to sabotage you and they think that you think you're a smart ass so they want to humble you for some reason. This person is beyond a weirdo but like I said, they have mental issues so what more do you expect? They want this masculine to bring in a nice offer. Oh yeah, I'll be a daddy and then let you get back in his drawers. Let you get back in his drawers. You back in his drawers. He had you in his pocket. Somebody could have had a pair of your underwear. And somebody could have binded you to this masculine by tying your you guys' underwear together. And you may have broke that bond spiritually, so they need him to come back and get another pair of your drawers so that they can redo the spell. Get the fuck out. And they missed an opportunity multiple times because you won't let this person in. Now they're they're questionable about if this is the right route to take or was it the right route to take. They thought they were going to have unlimited possibilities, but now, you know, that's a big no-go. Um, their project failed. They have to try to figure out another illusion, but it's too late. You're already on the, I'm hearing, the throne to success. So you're already sitting on your throne. You ain't traveling to that motherfucker. You about to get everything you need to get. You got bodyguards. You got spirit guards, okay? You, you're, you're heavily guarded. These people can't come towards you or get to you to even try to apologize. That's why the plan ain't working because the Holy Spirit had you protected the entire time. They're upset that you're very confident because your confidence is going to bring you good news because of inner peace. They want to disturb your inner child. They want to fuck your equilibrium up. And that was what they were doing. And that's why you walked away from their asses. And now you, 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 you free falling. That's what I heard. Okay. Unlimited potential. You're still that innocent energy. You're just older now. That's so cute. That is cute. Girl, you didn't grow up. Okay. Um, <laughs> Yeah, these people are left out in the cold from your material success and that's why they're upset because they can't benefit off of you and still trick you. Fucking weirdos. Yeah, that's that's not happening. The Holy Spirit stopped that there. That's not happening. Either the Holy or the Holy Spirits and that can encompass higher spirits, ancestors. I said ancestors. This could be a masculine, the matriarch. I mean, the patriarch that was supposed to be with this matriarch, uh, uh, you know, allegedly. And he's working very hard to bring you stability because he knows this woman is a fucking nutcase. And he's the one that peeped game and saw her trying to hold you back. So he could no longer be here. And she was trying to control the situation. She was trying to block you from getting spiritual downloads from him because she knew that he knew all the shit she put him through when he was alive. Oh, now he tapping that ass. Oh, now he getting her back, honey. Everything she did to him, he's exposing it and it's tearing her ass up. This narcissistic person never wanted her secrets to reach the surface. And it is. Imagine the whole time, the person that you're supposed to trust, a grandma, an auntie, a mama, whatever. This person was the one that paid your sorry ass handle a baby daddy to come in there and leave you out in the cold on purpose and try to do it again. Tried to do it again. Mm, pitiful shame. Pitiful fool is what I heard. A pitiful fool. All right, y'all, this is it. This is all my loves. I hope you got what you needed from this reading. I'm going to go ahead and close it out, and uh, I will see you guys in the next one.